Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mateusz aka Scale Modeler by Accident and this is the last strained line in our adventure with Junkers JU88 from ICM. In this video I'm going to finish this model and many things will happen, so stay with me. I started with washes. It's a mixture of faded blue, field green, bitume and smoke color. Thanks to it I achieved a greenish bluish mixture with some dirty hue which corresponds very well with the camouflage. I don't use any prepared enamel washes or I use them very rarely. It's because if you prepare a wash on your own from oil paint, you have a perfect control of what you want to achieve. Ready to use enamel washes, they are like all or nothing. You have a model, then you have a dirty model. Here I can choose how much wash do I need, which colors I would like to mix, and of course, thanks to an odorless thinner, Removing this thing, it's a piece of cake. You just need a dry paper towel. Just look at this. The weathering of machines is not something linear. You have some layers of dirt, some layers of worn, which have been collected. And in my opinion, um, enamel washes ready to use just flattens everything together and blends together. Here is engine grime, which has been thinned a little bit with an underless thinner to replicate some fuel leaks as well as stains, both from upper and bottom side. Once it was dry, I took a brush and removed all excess mixtures including wash and once it was dry, I removed all excess of engine grime and wash in places where it shouldn't be placed. Unfortunately, I lost most of videos with building of torpedoes. As I mentioned in the first video, which was an inbox review, the link in the right upper corner, torpedoes in this model, they are gorgeous with beautiful raised details and control so surfaces. They are like separate models. But you have to be very careful building them because it's very easy to damage these very fragile details. The color I used for them was aluminum from AK Extreme Metal and of course Tamiya XF63 German Grey. Now it's time for chipping. To chip the model I used Citadel Ceramide White and Celeste Grey color. I put some reasonable amount of these paints on a trace and added some tap water to blend them together and to make them a little bit thinner because they are very thick. This mixture was applied by a sponge 
but before I applied this I had to remove most of paint from the sponge. I chipped areas such as leading edges, such as hatches and places where maintenance crew was walking. Weathering propellers, we have to remember that A4 version had wooden propellers, so we have to add some sand color and brown color to imitate uh, wood going through the paint on the real aircraft. Then I replicated smoke from exhaust with jet exhaust from AK Extreme Metal, which turned out a very nice shade to post shade. Okay, very nice shade to post shade. Some panel lines. Such a surprise. This paint is very tinted, but you have to be very careful during applying because it doesn't forgive you any mistakes. Nevertheless, the effect was quite satisfying. In the end I covered the whole model with a mixture of semi-gloss clear with a little bit of matte.
Now it's time for cooking with groats. Ok, I'm joking, but you may be surprised why I used groats. Ok, I wanted to create some uneven rain marks on the model, but unfortunately I didn't have any patterns for this. Also, I don't like using rock salt because it leaves ugly marks uh, from melting salt. So groats were perfect for this. Um, as first, I sprayed the whole model with a generous layer of water and then I sprinkled some groats. So it's funny, but believe me, it works. I was satisfied enough so I decided to repeat the whole process with also a NATO black color uh, which replicated uh, fresh rain marks. I have to mention that the paint must be thinned very heavily, I mean one drop to 40 or 50 drops of thinner because we don't want to paint the model. Uh, we want to accent some uh, rain marks which are very tiny, very soft dots and spots on the model. Cutting off resin wheels was a real challenge because uh, they were cast with very thick uh, canals, so I had to use a very heavy artillery. It looks funny and quite unprofessional, but it works. After about two minutes they were ready to use with this beautifully cast resin wheels with tire deflection effect. Edward did a great job with these wheels. I sprayed them with some surface primer and then painted with rubber black. Of course, I didn't want to leave them in one uniform color, um, as you may spot it in many machines, such as trucks, buses, cars. Tires are not black and they wear many shades of grey. So once I painted rims, I took my acrylic paints for brush painting and decided to make some color shades, color variations on um, rubber parts. It took me about two hours but the effect was very satisfying for me. I painted some minor details with brush such as gear legs and rubber covers.
It may be the most controversial part of the build, but I decided to replicate some dust deposit on the canopy. I used light dust pigment, thinned very heavily with a pigment fixer. And this is it! It's the final assembly of details. If you want to know my opinion about uh, the ICM kit, um, the opinion is quite mixed. This is a very good kit, very impressive, but there are some very serious sh shortcomings in fitting, uh, especially uh, with fuselage and engine nozzles. So this model is not for the beginners, but someone who is experienced will enjoy the build, will enjoy uh, using some extra parts. Uh, and in the end, this model is large, it's colorful, it's well detailed, so, mm, so uh, you shouldn't avoid this. Uh, it, it's a quite good product, in my opinion. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Uh, in about three weeks, I will publish next videos. I'm going to build something smaller and it will be an armored vehicle. So stay safe, enjoy your holiday and uh, see you soon, bye bye.